we have, um, we could combine like terms, so we're, we're asked to simplify this. So it just says simplify. So what we could do here is, Jeremy, we could combine these by getting common denominators, right? Um, guys, we don't really need our calculators today, so except if you're taking a test, calculator can be put away. We can combine like terms up here in the numerator, right? We can combine like terms. Or what another thing is, we can just get rid of all these fractions as well. And we can do that is by multiplying by the reciprocal. Or I'm sorry, not by the reciprocal, but let's multiply by the common denominator. So if we look at this, x plus 1 and x minus 1, what is our common denominator of all of these? Does anybody remember what our common denominator is for all of these? x plus 1 and x plus 1 and x minus 1. So why don't we multiply everything by x plus 1, x minus 1? Because what I'm going to do there is get rid of my fractions. Now watch what happens. x plus 1's divide out. x minus 1's divide out. x plus 1's divide out. So that leaves me with x minus 1 plus x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Now I still have a fraction, but at least I don't have fractions in the numerator and the denominator, right? Then I just combine like terms. x plus x is 2x. Negative 1 plus 1 is, goes to 0. And then I'm left with 2x divided by x minus 1. And that is what we'd call our simplified version, OK? That is complex fractions. Another thing that we covered in focus lessons earlier this year.